We are about to start a series of videos on creating a workflow for SARS-CoV-2 bioinformatics. But what I want to do uh, before we start those videos is give a brief um, CLC genomics configuration video. So here's my CLC genomics workbench, and it's the Workbench 20, and it's updated to the latest version 20.0.4. Um, but what I want to do is show you quickly the plugins that are installed in here. So if we go over here to the upper right and look at plugins, now I didn't start this up as an admin, so I can't change any of these configurations um, in order to change things. I'll, I'll show that in a second. Um, but in order to change things, you have to be an admin. So the license that I have is a CLC Geomix um, Pro Suite, and the Pro Suite includes the CLC Genome Finishing Module and the CLC Microbial Genomics Module. Uh, we won't use these modules extensively in the initial tutorial videos, but we will go into a lot of detail on these modules when we're getting into the phylogenetics of SARS-CoV-2. Um, and this is an upgrade from the normal CLC license. Uh, the one thing that doesn't cost anything and we, is an uh, important part of the workflow that we're about to discuss is the biomedical genomics analysis module. This definitely needs to be installed because uh, there'll be a step for trimming the primers out of your uh, mapping alignments. So you have to make sure that in addition to having the, the pro suite that you installed is biomedical genomics analysis. So at the bottom you see you do not have sufficient privileges to change anything. If you wanted to do that, um, for most Windows users, you'll just right click on something, run as administrator. If you're at a, uh, you know, you'll get a little warning there that you're about to run things as administrator. Things will start up and then in a second. Now when we look at the plugins, you can see that we have, uh, we could check for updates, we can install from file, we can import licenses, etc. So just wanted to make sure everybody knew that up, uh, up front before we get started, um, because at the end of these, these tutorial videos, I will be sharing some workflows. And if you try to install those workflows into your uh, CLC Jobus Workbench, um, and you do not have these modules correctly configured, it will fail. Thanks a lot.